So welcome back. So in our Selenium with Python series, so today we are going to see how we can handle the drop down elements from a particular browser. Okay. So we have seen a uh, PyTest, how we can create a sample PyTest project and then we can run with different options. So now we are going ahead with the Selenium specific topics that is um, drop downs now let's first see how a drop down looks like for a particular browser or in your application okay so if i go to this particular demo application which is purely html based so if you see here on the gender uh, drop down now a drop down looks like this where we will be having few of the items and then the functionality is that as I select or as the user select a particular item it gets a select actually so that the developer can take the selected text and then can uh, manipulate that okay. So now let's see how the HTML dome looks like for this particular drop down. So this particular uh, drop down is meant to kind of uh, populate few of the options where uh, user can choose whatever the desired uh, stuff actually that is what the main concept behind a drop down uh, implementation right and if you see here now this is where the drop down looks like into the HTML dome so it has a tag called as select so any element that uh, is with a tag name as select then we can consider that as a drop down and that has few of the attributes will be there at this moment we have kept the name as as gender by using this we can identify a, part a particular element or this particular element okay now if you see there are few child elements to this particular select and the tag is option actually now what is this option so this option is nothing but the child items okay of this particular drop down now if if I click on this particular drop down I will see all the options these are nothing but each of the option actually here and each option will be having a value attribute so we all know that this is basically the HTML tag this is basically the attribute this is the attribute value and this is the selected text actually I can say this text of that particular element what is visible on the front okay so by using or by manipulating these particular things we will automate the drop down now let's get into the code base and see what are the available options with respect to the selenium python library okay so for this let's switch over to my pycharm and here what i will do i will create a new package python package even i can do like this and i will put it as src and then I will create another package and under this I will let's say that I am giving as elements okay so inside this we will be uh, what do you call uh, practicing our all browser elements okay so for this I will create a new file and because it is a pytest so I will say that test underscore drop down okay drop down dot py some name I am giving here okay so here what i will do uh, before i had a project right or a sample code i will copy paste this one so that we can edit this one and i don't need any class based so i'm just making it as a simple driver object and here everything is same and we already know right all these things in our first video we have seen that let's import few of the things and selenium dot web driver package we need to import that okay and then i'm just waiting for that page to be loaded instead of using going to this particular url i will go to this particular url where the particular browser element is present okay so that i need not to uh, what you call click to navigate there and it is registration form right the title so let me just change this one to registration registration some name i'm giving so that it will make sure that the browser is loaded properly okay so now how do i automate this one how do i do that okay so it is a select element right so first thing is that i need to identify this particular element by using the name attribute because that is what it is available at this moment now driver dot find element by name okay and in this i have to provide the name of that particular select element now what i will do with this one so 
Python library provides an option so I'm creating a variable or an element and here this is what I need to pass as a parameter to this particular class okay now if you see this one this select is a class or um, and I can import this one by using this selenium web driver support actually from this package I am importing this particular class and under this I am sending this particular element fine okay now I could able to use this select by to do all kind of operations selecting a particular element now let me put a dot actually what will be coming here now if you see here there are three options by using that or any one of that I can select a particular element okay now let's see the first thing that says that is select by visible text now what this means it means that it is asking for us to provide a text now if you go here text means what these are right we have already discussed this one just some time back that these values by using these values I can select something because these are nothing but the text of a particular item now here if you see this is mail right M is capital so let me put in double quote mail okay now I can select this one now how do I make sure that this is uh, selected actually because while running this test case I might not be at the in front of the desk actually I might be already gone to home or somewhere outside and I'm running by using some kind of uh, CI CD pipelining or something now I need to make sure that if I am selecting mail it should have been selected there so for this there is an option in select dot if I put first selected option now this will provide me the first selected item so here this if you see here this drop down I can select any one item only so that's why I will be getting whatever the item I selected fine now this is an element actually now if I go inside this if I right click go to go to and declaration you will see it is returning me a particular item actually so this options is returning multiple elements I will be coming to that in a moment but return oft is nothing but it is basically the element actually now if it is returning the element how do I get the text simple dot text okay now this will return me the string or the item that is currently selected so dot text means this value actually from this HTML it will fetch this one now what I will do why not I can assert this one assert what should I assert because I'm selecting mail so I want to see mail in this selected item simple thing now if I'm doing this one I will make sure that whatever I expected it is selecting that okay now let's run this one but before to that let me just quit this one so that I can uh, what you call close that driver instance and I can do one more thing also I can even print this one also so what I will do print and I will put here and I will say selected item and I will append to this one okay whatever it will fetch how do I run this one now okay so what I will do here pytest because it's a pytest method and I will put hyphen sb so that it will make me more verbose and few more details we have already learned this one but where is it located under src elements elements right yeah slash test underscore the file name let's run this one okay it ran so fast that's why I have printed that one now you can see selected item is mail and the assertion also become passed that's why it become it is showing pass okay so that is the way you can select a particular item by using the visible text now there are some more options are, are also available right so why not we can explore those things okay now let's go and again select dot you will see something called as a select by value actually so what is this by value now this is nothing but the value attribute so if you have items each item will be having a value attribute so that value you can use inside this parameter or uh, inside this method parameter then what selenium will do that take this text and match against all of this value attributes so wherever it is matching it will select that option simple so now let me select here female now this is 
say uh, all small letter why let me show you that see this female is f is capital this is text actually but while i'm using the value attribute this is all small letter so make sure that you are distinguishing between that and the rest everything will remain same uh, i mean these methods are all same actually there is no difference this is just the way we are selecting that okay now let me run this one again so what i will do go here and rerun the same test and let's see if this time it is selecting oh this should fail the assertion actually why i will let you know because we have selected female but we are comparing with the, the male expectation so for this what i will do i will make like this now see should i make it as a small letters everything no not really because i'm getting the text now for this value attribute what is the value this is f capital so this is what you need to make sure always or else you will get in trouble okay now let's run it again let me close this instance and rerun this test okay so everything went so fast and here you can see the selected item is female okay fine now there is another method because we have seen three types of ways right to select a particular element or an option from that drop down there is one more that is index actually now the name says that it is accepting one integer value either zero or one or two whatever it is there now how do i know that which index so that is something you need to count from here now the index always starts from zero so if i am making it a zero then it will select this option see zero one two three now if i want to select this not applicable now what should be the index zero one two three now let's say three okay and here how do i compare this one assert now assert text now text is this one actually okay so text is this one and whatever text it will return that should compare with this one let's see if this is working fine or not okay so as you can see the selected item is not applicable and the assertion got passed so that is the way these are the three options one thing you need to make sure always let me write down here index starts from zero many folks will get confused that the first item is starting from zero or one or it should be always zero okay fine so these are different options you can select a particular item and then get the item that is selected fine okay so now let's see one more way so let's say that there is a scenario where you have to fetch all the items from that drop down and match it against some kind of collection actually so let's say there is a straight drop down and the need is that you need to verify there is no selection is required at this moment okay the only requirement is that you need to fetch all the items make sure that the application is showing all the items in that drop down or not okay so this is one kind of verification or validation you need to do that so now how do you do that so selenium gives one more option actually here let me go down to this one and if you put select and then dot it gives you one property uh, okay a method that is annotated as property that is options actually oops enter options now this will give me the list of items inside that particular drop down okay means all these options it will give me okay how do i how did i know that it is returning that if you go to this implementation you will see it's simple so it is finding the elements find elements so it means that it is returning more than one item with a tag name option so if your drop down is having a option tag all the list it is providing and this is a element actually so this is not the string now once i get this L options i need to loop it and get the text out of that okay uh, just keep that in mind select dot option will always return the elements not the string so that you can get the elements and you can operate on that so what i will do i will create a variable of equal to select dot options now i need to loop it so what i can do for opt in ofts 
okay and then i will put inside this and i will print all the values so opt dot text i can do that okay so now what this will do it will first collect all the elements inside that particular drop down and then what it will do it will print individually this is my individual element of text either you can select get the text or else directly you can get the text okay now let's see if this is working fine or not so for this i will rerun the same thing okay so it went so fast and you can see here selected item not applicable because that is what we have selected by using the index and the next thing is that we have collected all the options from that and here you can see oops, all the selected items are basically this one these are the items you can do one more thing also you can just say print and you will say here drop down options are and you can print everything here you can see one thing uh, so it is just not creating a new line if you see it is just going with the existing console output only so what you can do in python there is one option where uh, it, see this is print actually print means it will continue from that line only where the output ended actually it will not create a new line but what print does as soon as it print a particular stuff it then goes to the new line means by default a new line is at the end of this particular uh, what you call uh, parameter whatever you are sending so what we can do we can put a escape end with slash n okay this slash n now if you run this one now observe this one it is giving me the path of that file and then the test method and directly it is printing now this time it will print in a new line okay let's run this quickly okay so now as you can see here it ran with a new line here okay and then after print anyway it is a new line okay so while we are uh, what do you call learning about selenium with python we will be learning some more new stuff regarding the python because if we will go and learn everything about the python features then come into the selenium then you go to the unit testing framework then it is like waterfall model right so we don't want to do that so while learning only we will learn entire thing as and when it is applicable to the uh, project writing or while practicing so that is the way i always found useful whenever you are learning a new technology or tool okay fine okay so all this code base whatever i'm using i will be keeping it it into the blog actually qavalidation.com and i will put that link blog link into the description so that you can get the code base directly and you can take over those things and you can do your own practice and it is not limited to this particular demo uh, what you call url you can use any kind of uh, what you call application demo application or else you can go to any uh, your your booking sites and there you will see all the country drop downs will be there you can fetch the items you can count those items you can validate if the count is correct or not you can fetch all the elements and compare with your existing what you call list whether that is all are present or not you can select a particular value and then get the text all those operations you can do by using selenium okay so th that's pretty much it for today hope this particular session helped and do subscribe to this youtube channel and share with your friends if it is useful thank you for watching